Hello. Today I wanted to talk briefly about transient ticks. Transient ticks are ticks that show up for a little while and then they go away and they never seem to come back. They are fairly common in young children. Anywhere from 20 to 30% of kids seem to develop some transient ticks during early childhood development. So we're not specially concerned about transient ticks when they show up. We expect that they will probably just go away on their own. However, if a tick persists for more than two weeks and remains pretty consistently the same, we might try asking the child about it a little bit just to see what their experience is like, what they notice about it. Now, we don't want us to come across like we're correcting the child, telling them that they are doing something wrong. We really don't want to add stress or get that connected and wrapped up with the tick. Instead, we would rather approach it with an air of curiosity, just interested in what the child's experience is like and let them tell you about it. And they often can surprise you with the things that they can tell you. They might describe like, oh, well, yeah, I, I kind of feel it right here. And that's okay. Now, if the tick lasts for uh, more than a couple of months, and again, pretty consistently and rather clearly, well, we might want to follow up with a pediatrician or other medical professional just to rule out the possibility of a persistent tick or other things that may be contributing to that. And again, this isn't necessarily something we have to be especially worried about, but it may be a good idea just to get it checked on and make sure we understand what's going on with it. So if it actually is turning into a persistent tick, what we usually will see is that the tick will show up. It may last for a couple of months, and then it will begin to diminish, and then it may come back again, and last for a little while, and then diminish again, and just kind of settles into this pattern of waxing and waning where the tick is worse for a while, better for a while, all on its own without anything else going on. Uh, if that's the case, and it's become what we would call a persistent tick disorder, and might even be Tourette's, which is a type of persistent tick disorder. <clears throat> that kind of thing goes back to the other videos where we talk about, you know, like Tourette's or persistent ticks are not necessarily a cause for concern, but they may be something that is going to stick with a child or an individual for a long period of time. Um, also, on the topic of transient or uh, periodic ticks, uh, temporary ticks, maybe we could call them, um, they may be worse under some circumstances than they are under others. So ticks in general tend to be responsive to situations and events going on in the person's life. They may be worse or better at school than they are at home. and that doesn't necessarily mean anything beyond just understanding that the child's brain will react to the circumstances that they're in. So that's all I really want to talk about for transient ticks today. I'm trying to keep this brief and the spirit of a transient tick. So if you have any questions, uh, you can feel free to send me a message at gallion.tube at gmail.com or possibly responding through YouTube or any Facebook account that's connected to this video. And that's all I have for today. So I hope you're having a great day and see you next time.